Hey y'all, it's been a minute since I made a video, so I thought I would document my repair on this 1967 Vibrolux Reverb. So you can see it is pretty much all original, with the exception of the screen and grid resistors on the power tubes and the bias filter cap, um, which has been changed in a way that I don't really like. Instead of putting the lead into the eyelet, they just soldered the new lead to the old lead. So I'm gonna redo that. The power cord is two prong, so we're going to replace that with three prong cord. Um, the vibrato is weak, so I'm going to fix the vibrato circuit. I'm also going to replace the filter caps. I don't know why somebody's done this, but it looks like they have cut these out and then put them back in, perhaps, by doing the same thing they did with the bias filter, which is just not very nice. So I'm going to replace these, glue the new ones down. The rectifier tube is original, so we're going to change that per the customer request for reliability. The power tubes are soft tech. They seem to be in good shape, so we're gonna leave those in. And all the pre's seem okay, too. We're also going to replace the speakers with Eminence GA10s that the customer supplied. Um, we're also going to change out the speaker wiring with this new heavy-duty speaker wiring that the customer brought me. Looks super nice. Divine Noise is the brand of these cables. I'm gonna be replacing these filter caps with F&T 22 microfarad at 500 volts. And then I'm going to glue them down with silicone. So here we have the new filter caps. If you're wondering why this cap looks backwards in comparison to the polarity with the original caps in, it's because somebody had put, whoops, had put this filter cap this way. They must have turned it around in the outside case because this is the negative end and this is the positive end. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit strange. You can see these are both the positive ends, but this case is showing this as the negative end, so that could definitely trip somebody up if they weren't familiar with the layout of this amp. And now for the bias filter cap, which I'm going to replace with a, another f and 100 microfarad at 100 volts. the vibrato circuit which is in this area so I would like to demonstrate for you what I mean by the vibrato sounds weak so this is with the intensity all the way up on 10 and the speed on 1 <laughs> So you can hear that the vibrato is there, but the volume swell is pretty weak. So I'm gonna do a little bit of work on the vibrato circuit and see if we can get it sounding a little bit stronger. Sorry y'all, my phone died as I was shooting the vibrato circuit repair, but I changed the three oscillator caps as well as the LDR and that did the trick. So I will show you what it sounds like now. You want to be able to 
hear the oscillation um, even with speed all the way at 10. So it's much better now. So the first step to the service is cleaning all the pots, switches, and jacks, and making sure all of the hardware is tight. Also cleaning the bias adjustment pot and I'm going to reset the bias at the end and now I'm going to clean all the preamp sockets Now I'm going to clean and tighten the three octal sockets before I rebias the power tubes. power cord. So these speakers have both had water damage at some point, um, so they'll both need a recone eventually. All right, I have replaced the missing hardware, which was primarily um, lock washers and a couple nuts and then I installed the customer supplied speaker cable so I'm gonna install the amp and we'll test everything together mm -hmm. 